What's up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilligan, Zika Milligan, the Villa Villa Trilligan. We are back on Dongan Rampa 2 Goodbye Despair. If I'm keeping it a buck 30 and a 35 with you, bro. I know y'all see if, if if unless I turned my camera off last episode, then y'all see my camera quality is a little worse now. I was checking back on it, and yeah, it's just not worth it. The little thing I was trying out with my the camera to keep my quality better. It makes everything lag and kind of, it just kind of sucks, you know? So I decided, you know what? Screw it. Until, I, until I'm able to, I'm going to just leave my camera a little wonky. But, Nakamaru is dead. All right. So now we have to go into investigation mode. I think I have an idea of who did it. I personally believe it was Kazuichi because we know he he's a mechanic and everything. But it's also extremely possible that they know that I'm thinking that and are using it to mislead me. So we're gonna keep our eyes, our ears, our cocks, and our minds open. It's Nekomaru's body, it's cruelly broken. Looks like it's been so severely damaged that even his head was dented. That'd be a fatal wound, right? But Nekomaru's a robot. Nekomaru's robot body should have been durable enough to withstand any assault. For Nekomaru to be this damaged, it can only mean whoever attacked Nekomaru didn't hold back. That was probably not the best time to think this, but I guess Nekomaru was really transformed into a robot, huh? I was getting used to the idea, but now I think about it, robots are definitely unusual. Well, it doesn't matter if he was a robot or not. Either way, Nekomaru was still killed. Yeah, bro, we gotta find who did it. It's definitely strange, isn't it? What is? If they wanted to kill him, they could have just destroyed his head. Why did they destroy his entire body too? Maybe they didn't know how to kill a robot, so they damaged him all over. You? But they went against Coach Nekomaru. He ain't the type to die easily. They obviously didn't fight him head on, but even then, he wouldn't leave himself open to attack. You're right, in fact, that's the biggest mystery. Nekomaru was even stronger after he became a robot. Can't think of anyone who'd be able to capable of killing him. Anyway, this alone isn't enough information. I should investigate a little more thoroughly. They had to have pressed that button on the back of his head, right? Or the back of his neck, wherever it was. Dang, bro, they like, my lord. Huh? There's something protruding behind Nekomaru's neck. See? That's right, hold on. That's right. It's a cunning edge function that puts other functions to sleep. Even if I have insomnia. Just press the gun night button on the back of my neck and I'll be forced into sleep mode. Maybe the killer pressed his button and made Nekomaru into sleep mode. But still, it's hard to think the killer was able to easily press a button on the back of Nekomaru's neck. Even if Nekomaru was ambushed, it still wouldn't be easy. Nekomaru was a really trusting guy though. He trusted everybody here, so he probably did it. He probably was was he probably left himself open and vulnerable, not expecting them to but not expecting them to try and kill him. Cause he was a cool guy. The cover on his chest is open slightly, but it won't make any, it won't open much more because the covers are messed up. If only Kazuichi was here, we might have been able to open it. Jeez, what the heck could he be doing right now? Probably fleeing the scene after murdering Nekomaru. There's a sturdy metal wire tied to Nekomaru's left leg. The same wire is tied to his arms. It's almost like he was bound up or something. But even if they bound him up, the killer still had to deal with Robin and Nekomaru first. Who did this and how were they able to bind Nekomaru? Also, the tip of his wire. It looks like it's tied to a loop, but it looks like a noose. What was the point of this? Alright, this is the oil. This fluid flowing out of Nekomaru's body. Based on the smell, it seems like oil. Am I recording? Oh, okay. I got a little scared. I got a little scared. It seems the be flowing heavy is from Nekomaru's head, probably because that's where the fatal blow was dealt. This oil, for Nekomaru, this might be similar to normal blood in humans. Which means all this oil is just a pool of robot blood. Anyways, that's a whole lot of oil. It's not going to be easy to clean up. No. 
Now's not the time to even worry about that. I guess for now, this is all I can do to investigate Nekomaru's body. It's a shame Mikan's gone. Because she, like, she, well, I don't know. Maybe she couldn't give, maybe she wouldn't be able to give a good autopsy to a freaking robot, huh? That's got oil on it. Pillar next to the door is tipped over and broken. This pillar break when it fell over? Not just that, it's a strange liquid on the upper section of the pillar. Is this Nekomaru's oil? It's the only pillar that's tipped over. The other one is still standing. <laughs> Behind me is the door to Great Hill. The two pillars on each side of the door haven't changed either. They're not tipped over. It's strange this pillar is the only one that's tipped over. It might mean something. I see, I got it. Got what? Leave it to me. This pillar is the weapon. The killer used this to beat up Coach Nekomaru. This is a huge pillar. Damn it. If you got sucked by something like this, even Coach Nekomaru wouldn't stand a chance. Well, yeah, that's impossible. It'd be too heavy to hold wield as a weapon. Hajime, grab that end over there. Huh? I'm gonna do it. We have to try it out, obviously. Come on, hurry up. Fine. You're more forceful than usual. It's no use, it's barely budging. Didn't I tell you? All right. If that's how it's gonna be, my body can take it. Power! Time three! No, seriously, just give it up already. It's not it's not gonna work out, buddy. It's no use, it won't even budge. Dude, people can't even move the pillar. It's probably impossible to use it as a bludgeoning weapon. Hmm. Well, there's only one person who could have lifted something like this. Robo Coach Nekomaru is definitely the only one. Huh. Alrighty. Look at the hammer. The enormous hammer has been carelessly left on the floor. Like it's suspicious because it stands out so much. How cruel. Perhaps that hammer is the weapon that broke Nekomaru. I do believe a weapon of that size is capable of damaging Nekomaru. There's no, there's nothing on it though. They're like, there's no, no signs of dentation, no signs of, no signs of indentation, no signs of oil, chip, damage, nothing. It's clean. Yeah, it looks a little too clean. It's almost like it's new or something. It is strange, no? Also, where did the killer obtain this hammer? Prior to now, I do not believe I have ever seen an object like this. Was it hidden somewhere? Good point. There's no supermarket in here. I wonder where they obtained it from. What what if what if this is supposed to be like a um a, a side by side to Sakura and bro just and Nekomaru just sacrificed himself so we could all escape. Honestly, Nekomaru He would do that. Knowing his personality, that wouldn't exactly be like a, a weird conclusion to come to knowing Nekomaru himself because he would actually do that let's talk to Sonia in this case is Monokuma file there's no written time of death right didn't that happen when Ibuki and Hyoko died too oh did it but the reason the time of death wasn't mentioned when those two died was because the time of death was key to the mystery surrounding their murder could that be the case this time too? Um, By the way, I would like to confirm this just in case. Um, Ultimately, it is safe to assume that Great Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building. Yes, that's the only thing we could think of. Even if we experiment, even when we experimented with Chiaki's handbook and left it in Great Tower, it still showed up at Strawberry Tower. Interesting glitch. Which means. The reason each tower's wall is different colors is because of the floor lighting changing the colors. The reason Usami's floor portrait is different in each tower is because it is merely a projection. Yeah, that should be the case. Then, then it is decided the two towers are the same building, which means the scene of the crime is simultaneously Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower. Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building. How does that pertain to Nekomaru's murder? Oh, what's this? Did you find something? Well, 
Um, under Nekomaru's body. No, wait. There's a small rock like fragments underneath Nekomaru's body. You didn't. I was just about to say that. You didn't have to correct yourself. And what do you mean, like, rock like fragments? See? Here, look. There are a lot of these small fragments. It's like they fell under Nekomaru's body. Looks like pieces of the pillar. Well? Oddly enough, these fragments are underneath Nekomaru's body. There are hardly any on top of his body at all. What are you saying about that? Is there a problem that they're not on top of his body? Yep. If you don't know, it's okay. It probably means they're not that important. You put it like that, now I can't help but think they're important. You looked at everything, right? Uh, let's look at the door. What is this? The door on the far back has a chain around the doorknob. It looks like a sturdy metal chain. It's wrapped around the doorknob in every direction, it even has a padlock on it. Why did they do something like this? Um. Perhaps this was used as an alternative to locking the door with the key. If that's the case, you wouldn't be able to enter this tower from Strawberry Hall side. After all, the door should lead to Strawberry Hall. You are right. If they barred this side of the door with a chain, it would be impossible to open it from Strawberry Hall. But still, why would they need to bar the door to Strawberry Hall? I'm gonna be real with y'all, man. I'm not piecing nothing together. <laughs> I am not piecing anything together. Your boy is slightly stupid right now. Power floor, lights illuminating on the wall because of these lights, it looks green. Like the shining ceiling is dark. I just trying about the lights. What else is there to see? Oh, the other pillar. Nothing strange about this pillar. Alright, what have I not checked out yet then? Should I talk to Akane again? Did you find anything? Looks like you haven't found anything yet. We need clues, right? I remember something, so just wait for it. Looks like that's gonna be a little hard. Oh, I remember, there is something I thought was weird. It happened early in the morning. You're going back that far? Like. Come on, you noticed it too, right? You heard that rumbling sound? Rumbling. Sasageo, Sasageo. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? I ain't feel the ground move. I guess I'm thinking too much. Stupid. Um. I was sleeping pretty heavy, so I wouldn't think about how hungry I was, but that noise woke me up. I ran out of my room without thinking, and after I did that, then what happened? I didn't see anything. And it looked like the others didn't come out of their rooms either. I felt pretty dumb for being the only one who came out, so I went back to my room and fell back asleep. In the end, I never found out what that sound was, but it's been on my mind for a while. You know, now that you mention it, it does seem strange. Just what was that sound? You don't know either? Well, I should tell you in more detail. When I ran out of my room, I happened to glance at the lounge clock. It said it was around 5.30 a.m. Will you be able to find out anything with that info? I didn't think that rumbling noise happened that early in the morning. But I'm not really sure if that noise pertains to the incident or not. What the hell? I went through the trouble of remembering that and you've got nothing? Jeez, you're so damn useless. She seems agitated. Well, it's understandable. All right, I'm gonna give y'all some of my theories, okay? My number one theory is that Kazuichi's the killer because he's the mechanic. He would know how to take Me Mechamaru apart. And you know, Mechamaru was a very trusting guy, so I'm sure he would have his guard down around us. So Kazuichi probably knew to turn off the, press the button and turn them off. And also Kazuichi was the most agitated about the whole hunger situation. So he probably would be the one most likely to want to get out of here. At the same time, I can also see Nagito being the killer because you know, he has this whole little, the ultimates are the hope for the futures. We need them to, you know, we need them to make it out. I feel like he probably would have killed Mechamaru for the sole purpose of making sure that, sole purpose of sacrificing himself so that we all make it out. 
and you know we can bring hope to the world i know that some of the chapters they like to parallel to dogen rumpa one i do see makamaru killing himself sex you know sacrificing himself so that we could um get out of this terrible situation i can definitely see that happening because we've seen Mekomaru sacrifice himself for Akane before. We know Mekomaru puts everybody else above himself. His whole thing is that he has to, his whole, his whole character is that everybody else has to shine. He works hard for other people to shine. He's the ultimate trainer, he's coach. So I do see him doing something like that based off of his character. I guess for now I've checked every, everything I, in this place that caught my attention. What is it? You seem lost in thought. Well, the final dead room. Final dead room. What the heck? Why are you bringing that up? Bringing up that place all of a sudden? Well, the hammer on the floor, the chain wrapped around the door at the far back, the wire that tied up Mekamaru. All that evidence at the crime scene consists of things we've never seen in this building, doesn't it? But as long as we can't leave, then there's no doubt that they came from somewhere within this building. So that's why you mentioned the final dead room. That must have been the ultimate weapon. Monokuma said beyond that door there's an ultimate weapon in a place called the Octagon. Yeah, so if we think of that place like an armory, then that's where the killer obtained their tools, right? If so, let us go confirm it. No, that's dangerous. If you go in there, you have to play the life-threatening game. Then I'll be the one who tries to confirm it. Huh? What are you saying? You were the one who said that place was dangerous, right? You? Man, it's so noisy. I can't focus at all with all this noise. Sorry. It's not like that. It's not. It's not you guys. This sound has been ringing since before the investigation started. A ringing sound since before the investigation? That reminds me. You've been mentioning that sound for a while, haven't you? Hey, hey. Akane, what kind of sound is it? Um. It's like a high-pitched alarm clock sound. Probably ringing from upstairs. Could it be? Maybe it's better if we check out that sound first. You're gonna go check it out? Then you guys go. I'll I'll stay here. Then I shall wait here as well. Please be careful, you two. Sonia's okay, but how come you're not going, Akane? Uh, hey. That sound is annoying. I don't really feel like leaving. Hajime, it's okay if it's just the two of us. Come on, Akane says she wants to stay here. Huh? Oh, I get it. She she doesn't want to leave Nekomaru's side. I don't know if she's actually aware of that or not. Yep. Let's go, Hajime. Yeah, you say so. Alright, let's rock. I hope they fix those stupid controls in this in the third game. Chiaki! Yep. Now that we've come all the way here, I can definitely hear something. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from the floor above us, but what could it be? Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, somebody's calling the phone! Jeez, it's so noisy. It looks like that phone is ringing. The phone, huh? I guess I'll answer it. Let's see. Just pick up the receiver and press the strawberry button, right? Damn right. Oh, you finally answered. That voice. Is that you, Fuyuhiko? Jeez. Jeez, do you know how long the phone was ringing? I was getting word that nobody would pick up. What are you doing? Are you still in Strawberry House? Like... Even if we wanted to go over there, we can't. Looks like someone broke the dang elevator. It's not moving at all. We can't enter the tower from Strawberry Hall because the door button is broken too. So basically, we're sitting ducks here. Not only is the elevator broken, but the Strawberry Hall door is broken too? Hey, bastard. Hey, are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Anyway, everyone in Strawberry House is safe, right? We're safe, but we can't find Nekomaru anywhere. Do you know anything? Didn't you hear the body discovery announcement earlier? Damn it, so that's what it was. Shit! Why did it have to be Nakamura? We just came back to us! Where was he killed? Great Tower. When I went there this morning, he was already... I see. I see, Great Tower. 
the door to Strawberry Hall wasn't broken, we'd be able to enter in the tower and... Holy crap, that's it. The killer broke the elevator and the Strawberry Hall door. So they could split everyone up and prevent it from doing a proper investigation. Dumbass. A dirty bastard. It might just be Kazuichi. He's like... The un unless like unless it was just smashed in and destroyed, he's the only person who could just go in there and you know unfix something. What about another way? Is there any <laughs> way you guys can come to this side? Oh, yeah. I guess we have to just let Kazuichi handle it. He said he'd take care of the elevator. I guess he's our only hope right now. You're right. Besides, if he doesn't stand out now, when the hell will he? Right. Like. Based on what Kazuichi said. It's going to be hard for him to fix the strawberry hall door without parts. But he said he might be able to do something about the broken elevator. We'll be waiting. Are you guys going to be okay? Damn right. Yeah, we'll head over there as soon as Kazuichi fixes the elevator. Till then, it's up to you bastards. Hey, hey. So the call came from Strawberry House? Apparently, the others can't come over here because the elevator is broken. There's no doubt this is the killer's doing. It prevented the others from coming to the crime scene. As long as the elevator is out of commission, those guys won't be able to investigate. But that's not all. For some reason, even the button to Strawberry Hall, the door button to Strawberry Hall is broken too. Huh? The door button to Strawberry Hall? Um. And that door is blocked from both sides. It's a sturdy change around it from inside and the button is also broken on the outside then. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Why did the killer need to block both sides of the door? I'm not sure, but there's something strange about that. I would like to investigate that in more detail, but if they can't come over here, then we can't go over there. Which means for now, it's impossible to check the final dead room. Not entirely comfortable with you going over there, but regardless, it's impossible now anyway. Apparently, Kazuichi is repairing the elevator. All we can do for now is put our hope in him. You're right. When Monokuma isn't gonna wait, I doubt we have that much time before the class trial starts. I hope Kazuichi can fix it soon. If not... Hey? Are you even listening? Hey, are you even listening? Damn right. Are we playing as Nagito? Wait, what? Nagito, I'm talking to you. Huh? Jeez. Don't harm me. I figured you weren't even listening. Sorry, I was just thinking. <laughs> you were probably thinking of something messed up, weren't you? But I have been listening to you. Nekomaru was killed, right? Then that body discovery and nothing was referring to him. Out of everyone here, it just had to be Nekomaru. Damn it. After what he went through to come back to us, damn it! How pitiful. It's tantamount to being killed twice. Truly, he was a man burdened by terrible misfortune. Hey. I don't have my freaking... I don't... I don't forgot all my voices, bro. I haven't played in a second. Okay, so now that we know the situation over there, is it alright if I go ahead and fix the elevator? Uh, is it alright if you wait a little bit? Before you do that, we should... Did you call for me? Get the Monokuma file, right? <laughs> now then. It seems you guys have noticed that the incident has taken place, so this is for you! Red bean bread and milk! And there's a bonus item! It's... The Monokuma file! Do your Come best. on, satisfy your hunger with this and do your very best on the investigation. Why is the Monokuma file being treated like a bonus item? Whatever, man, let's just eat. Eating should come first right now. Damn right. You're right. Is it okay if you guys eat? It's okay if you guys eat, but can you hear me out while you're at it? What do you yearn for? Okay. Well, I was thinking about what we should do, and I wanted to discuss it. Even so. Thanks to the killer, we can't even go to the crime scene. We have to wait until Kazuichi fixes the elevator. I still think Kazuichi is the culprit, so we can't... Let's not hold our breath on that. True, there's no doubt that the killer is responsible. 
but it seems as though they made a huge mistake. There's no way the symbols of hope will give up just because of this little setback. No way everyone will just cross their arms and wait for the class trial to start. We need to do everything we can on our end to prepare for the class trial, right? Well, yeah. Fine. It seems that we, shall, we too shall begin the investigation on our end, though it remains unclear how much we can do. <laughs> Is this acceptable? If I show my serious side, things will not end with mere child's play. Oh, I'm so glad. I knew you guys were pumped from the start. How beautiful. Even though you guys are suffering from despair, I can see you guys are still fighting for hope. Man, I just want to get on my knees and just suck up. Oh, well, never mind, guys. Ah, oh, such beauty. There's no higher honor for me than to investigate this murder with you guys. So we need to be grateful to Warden Echo Marvel for becoming the foundation of this hope. Well, regardless, whose side should I be on for this case? The killer? For the rest of you guys. I must make sure I face this case's mystery properly if I'm gonna find out which side is the true hope. <laughs> hey you guys, why don't we try arranging the sequence of events in this case? You know, so we can properly understand the situation we're in. Fine. I have no objection. Proceed. Then let's look back at what happened this morning. We tried to use the elevator so we could participate in Monokuma's Tai Chi, right? Damn right. Since we're staying at the Strawberry House in order for us to get to the meeting spot at Grape Tower, we needed to use the elevator first and go to Grape House. That was before 7 a.m., since it was right before Monokuma Tai Chi. Man. Once we realized the elevator was disabled, I seriously panicked. Anyway. Since we couldn't do anything about it, we just tried to get inside from Strawberry Hall. When we actually got there, the <laughs> door was broken. Stop with the mother freaking notifications! Thanks to that, we couldn't enter the tower at all. <laughs> so Fuyuhiko decided we used the phone and called Grape House. This too was And the that was everything that happened this morning. I must say I'm surprised. I never expected the elevator would be disabled. But then how was Nekomaru able to go to Grape Tower? Well, obviously he went before the elevator was disabled. And when was that? Ooh. Idiot. If I knew that, it just wouldn't be that difficult. Well. No, we might know the time you went to Great Tower. You serious? Huh, seriously? I... It was around sunrise. That's when I saw him going down to the first floor. What? You mean you purposely witnessed Nekomaru going to Great Tower? Hey, hey. When was it sunrise? Was it before that rumbling sound? Huh? Rumbling sound? Huh? What? You don't remember? Right after the clock in the lounge started ringing, we heard a rumbling noise. Did that clock even ring in the first place? Hey, hey, hey! You didn't notice that either? Seriously, that thing was super loud! Huh? That's weird. I feel like we're not quite on the same wavelength. Well, it is what it is. There's no gauge you guys will be on- there's no- wait. There's no way you guys will be on the same wavelength as trash like me. This looks like this is leading into an interesting development. Just as I thought, the telephone is connected to Grape House. If a means of communication was prepared, it's as if something like this was expected to happen. Well, I'm probably overthinking things. Hey, Kazuichi, if you don't mind, can you inform me? That stuff about the rumbling noise and the ringing clock, what was all that about? Seriously, you don't know? You're so kind, Kazuichi. Thank you for actually taking the time to explain it to me. Uh. Huh. Well, so that's how it is. Fine, I'll tell you. It happened last night. I was sleeping peacefully in my room and all of a sudden I heard this huge sound. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? The sound was super loud, so I rushed out of my room. And as I went down to the hall toward the lounge, It's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice. What? Don't go making all that noise so suddenly. It's not me. The wall clock just started ringing. I was just trying to stop it. Then hurry up and stop it already. 
I, I know I'm in the middle of doing that. And that's when the sound finally stopped. Uh. Man, that totally freaked me out. And I'm definitely wide awake now. What did you do to me? My mental defenses were bombarded with sonic resonance. You! Fuyuhiko, was this not your doing just now? Shut up! Why would anyone do something so childish? You must have rushed over after hearing that sound, but you sure seem to get there pretty fast. Well, yeah. But I didn't rush over here. I was just at the lounge by coincidence. Coincidence, hmm. Huh? What, do you doubt me? Hey. Whatever, I don't give a crap, but it's 5.30 a.m. Oh, man. man, thanks to Fuyuhiko, I woke up early for no reason. I should get back to sleep. Huh? What was that sound? What's going on? Er earthquake. This pressure. It did not feel like it shook. Hey, 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 hey. There's no way this building's gonna collapse, right? Hey. hey, Kazuichi, stop clinging to me. Dang, so it wasn't Kazuichi. All the guys have alibis. Except Nagito, of course. He was the only one that was down there. But we're literally hearing his thoughts. So, most likely, he didn't do it since we're like we're in his thoughts and he hasn't said anything suspicious. Until he says something suspicious, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna suspect him. So either Nekomaru really did kill himself, or it was one of the girls. But which one of the girls would do it? I know it wasn't Chiaki, she's the ghost, she wouldn't do that. Akane wouldn't do it either, she, like, you know, she, 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 she's attached to that guy, she wouldn't kill him. I don't know. I can only imagine it's being suicide, because I don't see Sonya Nevermind doing it either. And that's what happened. I see. So you're the one who was clinging to Fuyuhiko. That's obviously wrong. That's not the important part. And what happened afterward? Did you guys just separate? Hey. We decided to wait things out, but in the end, nothing else happened. Also. Not just that, we all felt really weak, so we decided to go back to our rooms for a while. Oh, I see. Yep. What you said just now was extremely important. Thanks to that, I've thought of one suspicious person. What? Who are you talking about? Me, of course. Huh? I mean, isn't it strange? I was the one who didn't notice an alarm that was so loud. Everyone else came out of their rooms. Well, that goes for the rumbling noise that you guys heard after that. Why, you? Hey, you better not try to be confuse us. I'm trying to confuse us. Of course I'm not, for now. Hey, hey, hey! That for now, Linus, was making us even more worried. Anyway, it seems there's no doubt that what you guys just told me is a very important clue. The wall clock alarm you got, you heard first and the rumbling noise that came right after. Now then, how do these noises relate to this case? Huh. Hey, you said you witnessed Nekomaru at sunrise, right? Can you explain that to me in a little more detail? I... I was so hungry yesterday I couldn't sleep. I figured it was nearly morning, so I went to check the clock in the lounge. I thought I was totally off. It was still around 5 a.m. Hey. That's when it happened. I heard the sound of a door closing off in the distance. When I stuck my head off in the lounge, <laughs> I saw Nakamaru's back. He was about to go down to the first floor. I thought about running after him, but I didn't have the energy or willpower to do it. Ugh. If I knew something like this would happen, I would have mustered up the strength to follow him. Hey, hey! But why would Nekomaru wander off so early in the morning? I... I was wondering about that too. I mean, I already knew I wasn't going to get any sleep. So I just sat in the lounge, stared off into space for no real reason, and waited for him to come back. Jeez. And that's when the clock in the lounge started ringing. Thanks to that loud, loud alarm, I completely forgot about Nekomaru. So it's just now. And from the time you saw Nekomaru until the alarm rang, you were at the lounge the whole time. But what were you doing during that time? By chance, were you thinking about everything that happened so far and getting choked up? What? Huh, was I right? Uh, of course not, asshole. You're completely wrong. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. 
and I thought you were reminiscing about Pekka or something, but that can't be, right? After all, you already know how pointless it is to cling to memories of the dead. Yep, I get it now. Thanks to everyone's detailed information, I'm slowly getting a grasp of the situation. If I put events in chronological order, Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru at 5 a.m. That's the time Nekomaru apparently went down to the first floor. At 5.30, the alarm clock in the lounge started ringing. When that happened, you two woke up, ran to your rooms in the lounge. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Let's make history. Now that I... It's time to make history, yeah! Now that I think about it, something might have happened to Nekomaru during that noise. If so, that must have been Nekomaru's final scream before he breathed his last. Hmm. Hold on, if Nekomaru died when we heard that noise, doesn't that mean we have an alibi? Alibi? I mean... When we heard that rumbling noise, we were at the lounge, you know? If that's when the killer murdered Nekomaru, then we have a solid alibi. Okay. Can't argue with that. Might be too soon to declare that just yet. We can't be certain unless we first clear up the mystery surrounding that rumbling noise. It's also entirely possible that somebody... Somebody called Nekomaru down to the first floor and set up a trap for them. Set up a trap for him. And that's what killed him. That's also entirely possible. A rumbling noise, huh? Did something heavy fall over over there or something? Also, based on what everyone just told me, there's another thing I'm curious about. Well, I heard the alarm clock in the lounge go off just before the rumbling. What do you suppose that means? Mmm. The alarm was set up. Somebody set up the alarm. Hey. Hey, haven't we talked enough? Really think I should repair the elevator soon. Oh my, you're still here? Once the elevator's fixed, I'm not gonna let you anywhere near it. So Kazuichi ran down the stairs complaining for some reason. Well, what should we do now? There's something I wanted you to do. After the elevator is fixed, there's something I want you to investigate. What is it? The clocks in the first floor lounges of both Grape House and Strawberry House. Right after that, you heard a rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Why? I'll tell you later. Hey, bastard. Fine, but why are you asking me? You can investigate that yourself. I would investigate it myself, but by the time the elevator is fixed, the chance I might not be with you all anymore. Huh? Anyway, I'm counting on you. That bastard doesn't make any sense. We're about to go into the final death room, aren't we? Now then, here comes the main event. There's only one thing I can do for them. I can go to that place for everyone's sake. I can't let them face that danger. I must be the pariah who goes in their place. That said, I should investigate one more time before I head over there. The elevator and the door in the far back of Strawberry Hall. Just in case, it might be good to check and make sure they're really blocked off. Black lives made a black time, made a black line. Black line, barrel, bang, bang, move back, man. Kazu Kuchi! Hold on. I press the button next to the elevator. The door should open and I can ride it. Nothing happens when I press it. Looks like it's definitely broken. Hey, what are you doing? You're getting in the way of my repairs. Hey, why did the elevator break in the first place? Oh, the killer malfunctioned the safety device. Look, you see that silver cover under the button? Looks like that's the elevator's control panel. They probably opened it up and messed with the settings. Oh, dang. But the cover is locked, so they wouldn't have been able to open it unless they had some kind of tool. Are there any tools in this building? Uh. No, there shouldn't be. I don't really know if they forced it open with a tool anyway. The control panel on the side wasn't one of the... wasn't the one that forced open. I see, is the control panel on the grape house side is broken then. Yeah. The one on the... and the one on this side isn't broken, that's the only thing I could think of. Pretty sure there's a control panel over there too. But the elevator is stuck on the grape house side. Wouldn't that mean the last person who used his elevator went to Grape House? Uh, yep, it's official. The elevator was disabled on the other side. Hey, hey I don't have time to talk to you. Hurry up and go away. I'm trying to do repairs without any tools. No matter how much time I get, it won't be enough. 
You don't have any tools, why don't you use this? Is this a multi-tool? Where'd you get something like this? I had it with me before I even arrived at the fourth island. We're going to explore a new island. It's essential we bring some kind of equipment, right? You serious? A guy like you has been walking around with a dangerous tool this whole time? Oh, is there something wrong? Uh... It's nothing. Now let you have this. Your repairs might go faster now, right? But in exchange, I want you to do something. This multi-tool is a compass. After the elevator is fixed, I want you to ride the elevator and see how the compass reacts. What the hell for? Well, to be honest, it's something I still don't understand regarding the structure of this building. So please, I really need this information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. I don't really get it, but as long as I'm just checking the compass, I don't mind. I'm glad, and I'll leave the rest to you. I don't know, it's kind of suspicious that he has tools on him. That's kind of suspicious to me. Oh my goodness. It's a strawberry hall door that leads to the tower. The button is broken, there's no way it'll open. It's our car. Basically, with Fuyu Hiko told Hajime over the phone. The other side of this door is also barred with chains. They must have been really cautious to go through the trouble of barring the door from both sides. Something about that seems a little suspicious. Let's make history. Time to make hit! The killer's intent, I can only think of one explanation. Ah, Gundam. <laughs> Perhaps they intended to keep me from entering the scene of the crime. Listen well. Which means the killer was afraid. Afraid of the conclusion promised by my assumptions. <laughs> yeah, that was probably it. <laughs> like I was like, I'm not about to get into this, bro. Just as I thought, there's no mistaking it. The elevator and strawberry hall door like they're completely broken. I didn't expect the contact elevator to be disabled from to be disabled from Grape House. As long as it's disabled, there's no way to move between houses. Which means the person who disabled the elevator would be stuck at Grape House. That person, they should still be at Grape House, but no, it's too soon to form an answer. But I won't be able to I won't be too late to find an answer even after I But I won't be too late to find the answer even after I finish investigating that room. <laughs> the final dead room. Only those who win the life-threatening game contained within the reach of the octagon and inside the octagon. The ultimate weapon awaits. No doubt Nekomaru's killer has been to that place. No matter where I search, there are no weapons anywhere in this building. Regardless of the weapon used to kill Nekomaru, the killer must have obtained it there. That's the case I should get going. Well, unlike everyone else, I don't mind dying at all. That's all the more reason why I should go. I see, so this is the final dead room. That's the hope. That looks like the old Hope's Peak computer. Use a little area. I hope I don't get scared. Did the door just lock? I see. The door is designed to automatically lock. Not that I would have turned back if it stayed unlocked. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And I thought the door finally opened. Now it's locked again. I forgot you existed. Why did you remind me? I figured you turned up since I haven't seen you in a while, but I never expected to see you here. N Nagito? Why are you in such a dangerous place? Same to you. Why are you here? I heard the bite of discovery announcement and I thought something happened in this room. And you got locked in when you came inside. You're a fool from head to toe. I am truly ashamed. Well, not that I care. Just make sure you don't get in my way. Um... Get in your way? The life-threatening game is going to start soon, right? It'd be annoying if you got in my way. Could it be? Are you planning to do it? Well, if I don't, I can't get out of here, right? And besides... The only way trash like me can be useful is by risking my life for everyone's sake. Wrong. You're wrong! Nagito is not trash at all! There's no such thing as a human being who doesn't deserve to live. I know I'm being heartwarming right now, but my heart is super scared and pounding like crazy. Are you sure you're not just excited? You know, it isn't, isn't it exciting to think I can finally be useful for the sake of those who showed their hope? Now then, 
about this so-called life-threatening game. Nagito, if there's anything you don't get, ask me. By all means, I'll help you and make sure you get out of here. Bring it on, escape game. Sounds like something a teacher would say, but I shouldn't expect too much from her. Can I, can I save? Please let me save, um, please let me save. This must be the unlocking device for the iron bars. I probably have to put in a four digit password. If you, if you input 9,999 combinations, it'll open eventually. You're right, but there didn't seem to be any buttons for inputting a password. Yeah. Looks like this might be under the lid. It doesn't seem to open. Not just that, what's this red light on top of this device? Three, one, two, two. Three, one, two, two. Three. Written in blood. Looks like the number three. These blood symbols alone don't make sense, but maybe if I combine them with something else. Watch the news. Seven, six. Watch the news. It says watch the news in blood. I might get cursed just looking at it. Ah, uh, it's just a secret code. Plus, it's a pretty common one. Secret code, Nagito, do you happen to know what this means? Yeah, it's a common riddle. Watch the news. Watch the news. I don't know what that means. I guess I'll watch the news. This television looks broken. Okay, pliers. Won't open. Uncompressed passcode. I got it. The first letters of the day. The first letters of the days of the week are probably the passcode. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, possibly. I doubt it's that simple. Okay, a closet. That's a five. One hanger hanging in the closet. It might be useful so I'm not to grab it just in case. Um. Alright, I have a thought. I have a thought. It was in. Okay, never mind. I thought it was wrong. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me look at this. I haven't looked at this yet. Laptop looks like it's on, but it's locked. Hmm. Well, you can input the password. Are we gonna turn it on? But for instance, the symbol that you often see on maps, like a uh, what? Um. What's a different symbol like? Monochrome plushies. It talks when you squeeze his tummy. Kills, kills. And the shining, can't reach it. Use the hanger, something thin and long. I have the hanger, I have a hanger, use the hanger. How do I use items, can I? Made out of wire. Oh, I can combine. Oh, there we go. There we go. Like that. A, key, a, key, a desk key. Alrighty. Take that right here. Use these to cut the. Shut up, Monami! You're joking, right? Or is that supposed to be an indirect hint? Oh my goodness, how stupid can you be? Hold on. It's talking, it might be powered by a battery. But let's try you cutting it open. Already. Yeah, I didn't eat any grannies. Mm. Okay, we got some batteries. Hold on, maybe.
Numbers on the wall are definitely the password for the safe. I just need to look at those numbers by watching the news. North, east, that west. I see. I don't. I. News. Three. So this is north. That means this is. This is north. That's east. That's west. And then that's south. So three, six, five, seven. All right. Three, six, five, seven. I was at least right that three was first. Three, six, five, seven. Is it possible that I don't know my directions? Is that is that possible? Which way is north and which way is north and which way is south? I don't know. Okay, let's say this is north, all right? So five, three, seven, six. Five, three, seven, six, okay. Five, three, seven, Six. Leave it to me. Shut up! Okay, okay, okay. East is on the right, isn't it? Huh? Wait, what? I don't know. Don't, don't, don't search. I just, I don't know my east and my, I don't know east and west. I'm so, I'm stupid. I always get them confused. North, south, I always get them confused. Cause let's be real, bro. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward, right? I don't know if I'm looking in north right now. I don't. I know somewhere is north, but I don't know if I'm looking in the north direction right now. Is this a nine? I'm thinking about it. Is this a nine? Cause y'all know when you draw, the way you differentiate between nine and six is by drawing a line. If it's a six, you draw the line, um, if it's a six, you draw the line on the, um, what you call it, where the circle is. And if it's a nine, you draw the line where the, where the, where the, um, bottom is, where the line is. So this could be a nine, actually. Let's try again. North, east, west, south. All right. Three. Nine five seven three nine five seven. Let's try three nine five seven. Yo, I'm so smart. I was right the first, I had it right the first time, but that six was tripping me. I figured that out though. I figured that out. Digital camera and a USB stick, huh? There's no battery inside the digital camera. All right. So as I thought, I lo looks like I was able to unlock the lock with the USB stick. Now I'm gonna need to put the password next. Maybe the memo that was inside the desk drawer might be able to. I got it. I got it. The first letters of the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, meaning M T W T F S S. Huh? It was wrong. I doubt it's that simple. Just check the picture that's inside. Looks like a photo of a space poster that's posted on the wall somewhere. I wonder what that means. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Sun. Okay. Oh, I can't. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Sun. Let me press OK. Oh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I forgot that the, the sun comes first. The sun comes first. Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. I forgot. Sun always comes first. Is this Othello? 
Is this Othello? I don't know how to play that. The freak is Othello. Okay, I see what this is. Shut up, I figured it out already. Not good at Othello, I won't be able to get out of here. Othello is irrelevant. That's how I'm showing a picture of the red lights on her device and the iron bars. I see. Okay, so I was right. All right, so what was it again? Uh, Shut three, up. Three. Four, three, three, seven. That's the best I can think of right now. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Nothing in here anymore. Four, three, three, seven. All right, I figured that was wrong. Or maybe instead of the lights, it's the ones that aren't bright, bright, getting bright. So that would mean, ah, oh, but even then, it's still weird. Even then, that still leaves like the, 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 the second and the third one are the ones that's tripping me up the most. Oh, I might've had it wrong. It might be seven, four, three, three. That might be it. If not, then I gotta think about it differently. Seven, four, three. Yeah, I figure, I figure. There's something I'm missing here. There's something I'm missing here. Maybe instead of that, instead of, maybe the positions don't matter and it's just a number. The positions are there to throw us off. So in that case, and it's not lights, it's darkened. So in that case, it would be, um, let's see. Huh? In that case, it would be 4733. It would be 473. Guys, can I be real with y'all? I am not the best at puzzles, so please do not judge me too hard. Man, this is pissing me off. Not pissing me off, but I'm so lost. Nine, eight, seven, five. Nine, eight, seven, Five. Why would that be it? No, if that's it, I want to figure out why. I want to figure out why it would be 9875. I'm going to try something else, okay? Four. Six, eight. Okay, so that's eight lights. That's eight lights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It adds up to the same amount of lights. Is that it? That's actually what I was gonna try next too. So if this is right, then I was on the right track. That was actually the, the next thing I was gonna try out. That was the next thing I was gonna try out. Bro, I was literally just thinking about that too. That's why when he said 9875, the first thing I thought of was, does it add up? Is it, is it, does it add up or something? Because that was the next thing I was gonna try out. Oh man, at least I figured out where he got the answer from, you know, and said, at least I was there. So I, I would have figured it out. I would have figured it out because I figured out why he got that answer in the first place. Did you hear something? P. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, it looks like we cleared it. <laughs> With our powers combined, we were able to clear the life-threatening game. Who cares about clearing it? Why does the exit feel like it's not opening? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you mean it won't open? Oh. Are you serious? It's not opening. 
Didn't I tell you that? That's... It's not just the exit. Even the door we entered from is an opening. Maybe the game isn't over yet. C could it be? Is there anything, any chance that thing I found earlier was just joking around? Seems like you have something on your mind. Um... When I first arrived in this room, I received a letter. A letter? I'm sorry. I thought it was a prank, so I didn't have the chance to tell you. Enough with excuses. Hurry up and show it to me. Um... Solve the mystery of the final dead room and you'll obtain the right to play the life-threatening game. The life-threatening roulette. You are liable for setting the roulette's difficulty. Depending on the difficulty, I'll prepare a special prize. But make sure you don't overdo yourself. I see, so that's what it meant. Um... What does it mean? It means the game's up until now with the opening act. From this point on, it's the real performance. Life-threatening roulette. That's probably like Russian roulette. See, a gun came from out there. Which means I have to use that to play Russian roulette. Hey. Russian roulette? Then allow me. No matter what, it's too dangerous. Hey, Monami, there's something I wanted to ask you. In all honesty, I don't really understand the rules of Russian roulette. Hey. If that's the case, load one bullet into the cylinder, then spin it. After that point, the gun towards you and pull the trigger. You can't. Wait, you can't do that. There's a one in six chance you'll die. A one in six chance of death, which means the failure rate is only one six. Hey, is that rule really okay? I mean, if there's only one six chance of failing, wouldn't the game be too easy? So shouldn't it be the opposite? Remove one bullet from the gun, then use it while the other five bullets are loaded? If you do that, there will be a 1-6 chance of success. Yep, that would definitely make a more thrilling game. That's... What are you saying? Let's give it a go. Hold on, Nagito. What are you doing? What am I doing? Playing Russian roulette, obviously. He might be crazy. I've only removed one bullet. So there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. You, you can't. Please stop. It's not much of a talent, but even I have an ultimate level talent. You know, I'm the ultimate lucky student. Hold on. But if I can't win when there's only a one in six chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent is that? I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, there's no way you can really call that talent. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Isn't that right? Please stop! Hold on. Let him cook! Was that the gun? Ah, oh, that sound just now. That was the door unlocking, right? Looks like we finally cleared the final dead room. I... I'm scared of you, Nagito. Hmm, really? Oh well, let's go. The octagon should be just beyond that door. So this is the octagon, huh? Hmm. What a distorted room. Wow. Congratulations, Nagito! Cool. Yeah. Congratulations on clearing the final dead room! And you even challenged yourself with the highest difficulty with only a 1-6 chance of success! Here. I have a modest present for someone like you! Now then, this first! Is this the Future Foundation's file? Didn't we already get this when we were at the roller coaster? Uh -huh. Just think of it as an extension of that. Extension? Hey, hey. You, what are you giving without permission? Let's see, one more special prize. Here you go. This crest, is it Hope's Peak Academies? <laughs> That's right, this file. It contains your student profiles from your time at Hope's Peak Academy. Meaning these profiles that you guys don't even remember. Our time at Hope's Peak Academy, huh? But after all this time, I still can't believe it. You mean the matter concerning your stolen school memories? I mean, a no good person like me actually spent time with everyone else at Hope's Peak Academy. No, that's impossible. If that's true, how did I feel? Surely I would have spent my time feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of such greatness. Mm. Jeez, whether you're upbeat or depressed, I still don't understand you at all. Phew. Oh well. Anyway, I'm passing this along to you. How you use it is up to you. 
Thanks, I'll take a long look at it later. So if I look at these profiles, I'll be able to find out what Hajime's hidden talent is too. You'll probably be happy about it. Yay! Someone like me was finally useful. What are you laughing about? Well, I just thought it was ironic. Out of everyone here, someone like you was the one who obtained the Host Peak Academy student profiles. I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. What does that mean? But looks like things are gonna get interesting. Yes, Nagito. You might be the one who makes things much more interesting. I don't really know what you're talking about. What are you planning? You're, what's written in there? Lie. Anyways, Monami. Hey, hey. No cheating. You haven't reached the end yet. Hmm? I mean, you haven't played Russian Roulette yet. Um... But Nagito already did it. No, saying? no, no, no! <laughs> Get over it! Get over here! Revenge of the final dead room! No! Coercion! Please kill her. Jeez, they're gone. In the end, I still don't understand what Monokuma was talking about. But for now, I'll leave this file for later. First, I need to investigate this room. It's not like I know how to get out of here. I see, so there are lots of firearms here too. There are handguns and grenade launchers even. I don't see anything that could look like an ultimate weapon. I wonder what this so-called ultimate weapon is. A window? Why is there only one window in a place like this? I don't know kind of hell it means to it. But in actuality, what could it mean? In my mind, I entertained various possibilities I walked slowly toward the window. And then the moment I peeked out that window, huh? this is what I actually saw outside that window. It was completely different from any possibility I had in mind. <laughs> I see, so that's what it was. What I saw outside this window, if I started piecing it together and think about it. Yeah, I see. I'm starting to get a larger perspective of the fun house with this. You mind telling me? There's a door on the floor. Isn't this the first floor of Strawberry House? This door lead underground? Based on a sketch, it shouldn't have been a bunker. No, maybe what lies beyond this door. Things are finally getting interesting. Amazing! As expected of a place that can't be reached unless you clear the final dead room. Thanks to how I arrived here, all the separate pieces seem to be connected in a one fell swoop. A chain reaction culminating into the truth. All thanks to just one clue. Now I know now's not the time to enjoy things, but is definitely a good feeling especially that window that's right everything became connected from there thanks to that window i realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon in the funhouse now all i have to do is tell everyone else about this before i do that i should finally take a look at the file received from monokuma especially if it's everyone's student profiles from their time at host peak academy that's important i cautiously opened the file and read it carefully taking care not to miss a single letter Carefully. Huh? Hey. Can you hear me? Oh. Can you hear me? Hajime, can you hear me? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, did you say something? Well? It's been about two hours since we spoke with Fuyuhiko. I wonder if the elevator's been fixed yet. It'd be bad if we were still split up before class trial, so maybe we should call them one more time? Hey, are you even listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. Sorry. What are you gonna do? You're right, I'm worried about them too. Let's try calling Strawberry House one more time. I think. Yeah, that's a great idea, I think. Huh? That scared me. What the heck? Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime. Nagito, why are you here? <laughs> because I showed up. You showed up? How did you even come here? <laughs> Maybe I teleported. Huh? Hey, 
Hey, answer me seriously. How are you able to come to this side? Before I do that, there's something I need to tell you guys. There is? I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. No. I'll give you the details first. Let's hurry this up. After being abruptly interrupted by Nagito, Chiaki and I learned about the results of his investigation to Strawberry House. Yes, these were pretty. He didn't say anything about the final dead room. Especially the fact that these are everyone at Strawberry House heard that rumbling noise too. What was that about the wall clock's alarm going off before that happened? The fact that Strawberry House's button was broken is definitely worth noting. Also, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. I've cleared the final dead room. Huh? You did the life-threatening game? It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? It's a game where you load one bullet in the gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards you, and pull the trigger. So you really did it. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So it would have been fine if I'd only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Monami said. Huh? Actually... I misunderstood and thought that I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder. So that's how I did it. That... You only had a 1 in 6 chance of surviving. Whoa. But I'm still alive, after all. The only good thing about me is how lucky I am. What is wrong with him? I knew he was strange from the start, but when they do something ca casually do something so suicidal. He's crazy, that's all there is to it. I... Anyway, before I was able to clear the final, because I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights. And one of those rights, was the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. Not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't need to play the game anymore. Move back and forth? Where would you even be able to do that and how? Hey, Hajime. You stay quiet. You've been repeating yourself over and over and it's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm definitely lucky. Thanks to that, I was able to clear the Russian roulette at the highest difficulty. And I obtained quite an amazing prize as my reward. He's treating us differently now. He must have seen something about us he didn't like. That's the future foundation file. Yep. Yeah, it's a continuation of the file we've received at the whole roller coaster. Continuation. There's an even more detailed information about this killing school life that was in the earlier file. The killing school life. You mean the killings that took place at Hospeak Academy, right? As I recall, Byakuya was one of the students who participated in it. <laughs> but even when we learn more about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. There was information about the order of the killings and who the killer was for each incident. I find it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people I don't even know. Right? Besides Byakuya, of course. Then it's just what I thought, that Byakuya was the Byakuya we knew, right? What? However, I can't say the information was completely useless. In truth, there are similarities between the cooling school life and this killing school trip. Similarities? Um... For example, the first murder involves someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. Okay. The second murder revealed the presence of some serial killer among the group. And the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. Hey. What do you guys think about these strange similarities? Definitely strange. I can't think of these of coincidences, especially if Monokuma is behind the motives and driving the murders. What are you trying to say? Hey. By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Whether that means something or not is something each person should think about on their own. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. Truth? Are you sure you're not trying to confuse us? Jeez, Jeez your complaints never end, do they? If you're gonna talk like that, I won't tell you any. I won't tell you anymore. And I even learned what your talent is too. Huh? Well. Well, that file wasn't the only thing I received from Monokuma. This is another one. That seal. Yep. 
Indeed, it's the Host Peak Academy School crest. Perhaps. Does that have information about our stolen memories? How unfortunate. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information. Just Hajime's information. Just mine? Why? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's? Jeez. It's quite troubling you would ask me that. I must say, it was always interesting that Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. Right? But that ends now. Are you serious? Did you really find out why I was chosen by Host Peak Academy? Man. In a way, it's just as Chiaki said. Hajime's existence is special. Because you were... Just some reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Well... Unlike the primary department for main course students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is for reserve course students who enter the school through a basic entrance exam. Essentially, you're like a substitute of the second string. Well, even then, that's just a name only. The reserve department pretty much only exists to increase Host Peak Academy's revenue stream. Reserve department, substitute, second stream, revenue stream. What is he saying? Like I said, to be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pay a rather costly entrance free in tuition. With the funds obtained from those from these entrance exams, the academy can focus on bolstering and researching talent. <laughs> Through this, a symbol of hope can be raised. Isn't that right? Which means you're just a stepladder, but you should feel honored. An average, talentless human can be put to good use for those who are known as Hankind's hope. What the hell does that mean? Perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Host Peak Academy? <laughs> or maybe you were just obsessed with Host Peak Academy like a fangirl following the latest trend. It's not like that I stop it. wanted to be hope. If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listening carefully, the only humans worthy of becoming hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. There's no mistake. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by hope to become hope. You don't even know? That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Host Peak Academy that you couldn't even see that? You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. A nobody for who forgot he was a nobody, that's all. Then I just... <laughs> that's right, you were never an ultimate. You had no talent whatsoever. I don't have any talent. Just an ordinary high school student. Man. Man, I feel sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? That's not it. But still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, utterly remarkable high school student, there's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. But if it's not Hajime, then who in the world could the traitor be? A survivor for the previous school life, Byakuya would have been the most likely candidate. But now that's probably impossible. Hey. Hey, are you listening? Hold it. There's no need for you to listen to this. What? Well? It may be important to talk about who the traitor is. We need to focus on Mechamaro's murder first. But if we can't survive the class trial, everyone is going to die together anyway. In that case, would the traitor be, the, be among those killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Yep. Oh well, it's fine. I'll stop for now. Hey, hey. Said you cleared the final dead room and attained those files. That means you must have gone to the octagon, right? Hey. Are you curious about the ultimate weapon? So... Did you find out what it was? <sighs> maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Huh? What, what the hell? <laughs> I'm the one who cleared that room and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtain in there as I see fit, right? Are you planning to keep it secret? Are you planning to side with the killer again? Man. Like I said, I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't changed since this began. How many times must I repeat myself? I just want hope to shine even brighter. Mm. What you're saying doesn't make any sense at all. Just tell us already. Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Jeez. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. Suppose I could tell you a little tidbit. I... You're right. I did go to, the, go to a place that seemed to be the octagon and I found many different weapons there. 
but I didn't find anything worthy of the name Ultimate Weapon. Don't lie. There's no way that's possible. Stop it. Coming from someone with no talent like you, that's truly offensive. What did you say? Oh. Fine, I understand. Now not the time for us to be fighting anyway. You won't tell us we gotta do it ourselves. Now shall we go back to investigating Mechamaru's case? You better hurry, the class trial's gonna start soon. You're right. You're right. I haven't even seen the crime scene. Also, the guys at Strawberry House should be coming over to this side any moment now. Bye now. While we're at it, I'll go on ahead. Hey. Hey, Hajime. It's okay, I already know. You want me to focus on Mechamaru's case right now, right? It's true that I'm shocked, but now's not the time for me to feel like that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Yep. Yeah, I'm relieved to hear that. We should get we should get moving then. Yeah, you're right. I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Nekomaru's case. Oh my goodness. So bro just casually goes from the number one dick rider to a hater, bro. All because we don't have an ultimate talent. <laughs> I have returned to the depths of hell. Gundam! Yo, Yo, sorry we're late. Hey. Just so you know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. <laughs> See, it's just as I said, right? Hey. Hey. Are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here. Hey. More importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into that matter I asked you about? Huh? Uh, oh, that thing about the compass? Looked into it while coming here, but I think the compass might be broken. You stay quiet. I didn't ask for your opinion, just tell me the results. <laughs> huh, well... The compass needle rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. The needle rotated 180 degrees. <laughs> I see, it's just as I thought. What do you mean by that? That's obvious. Well, obviously, the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. The elevator rotated. Now then. now then, I should investigate Nekomaru's body. As if he was thumbing his nose at us. Nagito began making his way to oh Grape my. Tower. The hell is wrong with him? Doesn't he seem pissed off or something? Nagito, what do you know? How much do you know? Bro, don't let me get my hands on Nagito, bro. He's getting a fist full of cock. I mean, he's getting a, a mouthful of fish. That's what I meant to say. Are you serious? Uh, Nekomaru, you serious? Damn it! Damn it! I don't know who did this, but this is pretty messed up. Hey, now's not the time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. We already investigated everything we can here. Wow. No, you haven't. There's still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Mikan's no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Right? Kazuichi should be able to disassemble the body, right? Huh? It cannot be. Is that true? Are you going to disassemble Nekomaru's body? I won't forgive you. Don't, don't screw with me. Has it cause Nekomaru have been through enough already? You don't know? Been through enough? We need to perform this investigation so we can find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Akane. Maybe you don't care what happened to Nekomaru. Damn it! Why you? You stay quiet. You suck at using your brain, and you really want to know who the killer is. Try not to interfere so much. Jeez. Come on, Kazuichi. What are you standing there for? Uh... Damn it! Fine. Just have to do it, right? No, I said I went to see his insides, but not like this. It's just too much. Well. Come on. Are you guys feeling okay too? Now's not the time to be staring into space. Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. Thought he was just treating me differently ever since I found ever since he found out I have no talent, but it seems that's not entirely the case. The attitude towards everyone else is strange now too. But why? What is his issue, bro? Damn it! No way I can get sent in the middle of a time like this. I feel awful for Nekomar, but this is necessary. We're gonna find out the truth behind this case. As he forced his voice through his clenched teeth, Kazuichi faced Nekomaru with eyes full of determination and began stabbing his tool knife into Nekomaru's body. 
Huh? Where did you get that tool knife? Nagito gave it to me. He said he had it before we entered the apart amusement park. So Nagito did that too. It's like Nagito has full control of the situation. Maybe. Looks like the damage to his head is the reason. Huh? The reason Nekomaru died, I mean, stopped functioning. Hmm. His torso is covered in huge dents and his parts are dislocated. Maybe a gear shift broke too. Well, for now, I tried disassembling Nakamaru's chest. This should help us learn something, right? If that's the case, I need to look at his body one more time. Apparently, Kazuichi has finished disassembling Nakamaru's body. Maybe I should probably check it out one more time. Okay, the good night button. Maybe they really did press it, even so the back of his neck getting behind him. The press would be a Herculean task. The chest panel is open. The clock inside is exposed. Hands on the clock are pointing at 7.30. Clock alarm was set for 7.30. Which means the clock broke the moment the alarm started ringing at 7.30 a.m. 7.30 a.m. is strange. We should have arrived at Grape Tower just before 9 set, well, just before 7 a.m. For Monokuma Tai Chi. Is this clock? I think I said it last time, but somebody was screwing with our clocks. Our clocks were being messed with. That's why he went down. Somebody was messing with both clocks. They they turned the clocks back. And and and, and, and Nekomaru went down for Tai Chi at seven. At seven for at seven o'clock as he was supposed to. Because at that time it was time for Tai Chi. But somebody has set the clocks back so we wouldn't know that. That's also why Fuyuhiko thought it was time for Tai Chi soon and found out it actually wasn't. This is highly efficient radio clock. Top of Cloud receives radio signals so it automatically updates the time at fixed intervals. Simply put, it's an extremely accurate clock. Clock that'll never slow down, even if it's designed so that it can't isn't even designed so it can't be adjusted. I have become a time lord! Even if it's an accurate clock, you need to install it in your body. What are you saying? I don't need a wristwatch ever again. There's nothing more useful than this. Accurate radio clock that never slows down, huh? That's the case. Why does it say 7:30? Into a loop. What's wrong with him? He's crouching over Nekomaru's body, and it's almost like he's glaring at him. You're the worst. Jeez, this is the worst. Jeez. You guys overlooked an important clue. I swear, you're just the worst. As I thought, there's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about? Well, I found this under a fragment of the pillar that tipped over. Is this a doorknob? You don't even know? Looks like the screws came out with it. That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. Looks like there's scratches near the base of the doorknob. Don't you think it's strange? See? We examined the far back door in Grape Tower. The doorknob is still intact. Now that you mention it, you're right. Now then. If that's the case, where did this door not come from? Do it at least a strawberry hall, then there's only one possibility. Had to be the door connected to Grape Hall that we entered from, right? That means they had to have entered through Strawberry Hall. Well, it makes sense to think something like, like that. <laughs> we should try it out. You don't know? We should take the elevator to Strawberry House, and we enter Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall. That's the only way to see the other side of that door, right? But the button's broken. It's obvious. We can just repair it. After all, we have the ultimate mechanic on our side. Well... Well, you're right, but I need the parts to repair the door in Strawberry Hall. I can repair it if it's broken, but if I don't have enough parts, there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> but you have plenty of parts right here. Huh? See? Just use Nekomaru. 
I'm sure if you dig through his body, you can find part. Sunday really likes Nagito, so I'm tr I've been I've been trying to like be nice and be open to to like you know like maybe maybe there's something about him as a character I can appreciate. He's a fantastic character, but there's something about him that I can like maybe. But no, I just hate this guy. Hold on, are you saying we should use parts from our dead friend? It's called recycling. It's a much better alternative than just disposing it with the rest of the junk, right? Junk. Hey. Well, Kazuichi, is it possible or impossible? Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but... Seriously, hold on. Even if you do repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Huh? Chain. The door that leads to Strawberry Hall is a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Even if you fix the button on Strawberry Hall's side, the door won't open as long as that chain is there. You don't need to worry about that at all. I don't need to worry. What does that mean? Kazuichi, you should go over to Strawberry Hall so you can repair the door. Hey, I'm not finished. Hajime, you're going to come later too, right? It'd be really bothersome if you didn't. I mean, if there's someone in the tower, the door won't open at all. Right. You should at least make sure you're not pulling my leg. After turlessly saying that Nagito left the area. Yo, fuck this guy, bro. What the hell happened to him? He seems on edge about something. Who knows? Damn right. That reminds me, Nagito asked Kazuichi to do something weird for him, right? Yep. It had to do with the elevator. How the elevator spins 180 degrees. I wonder what that could mean. Hey. Tell you the truth, Nagito asked me to do something weird too. He told me to investigate all the clocks inside both buildings. The clocks? I... So I did what he said, but none of the clocks with their times messed Jeez. up. Why'd he ask me to do that in the first place? I don't get that bastard at all. And now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Tower too? Along with the door not matter, there are so many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If you go to Strawberry Tower, you might be able to solve some of those mysteries, maybe. Jeez, you're Looks like that's all we can do. Let's head over. Right. What is he planning to do about the chain? Like it won't come off easy. Does not even have a plan or something? I don't understand this at all. I'm not about to let the way Nakito talks to me slide, bro. I'm not letting it happen. Thanks to Kazuichi, the elevator is working now. All right, let's go. Man, with a strawberry house. Been a while since I've come to Strawberry House. Hey, you're here. Hey, hey. Kazuichi, how the repairs go? <laughs> yeah, well, the damage wasn't too bad once I got the parts, so I was able to fix it right away. Yeah. Got a lot of nerves saying that when you use Nekomero's parts without my permission. Hey, hey. Well, I mean, even so. Now then. Anyway, now that we're all here, why don't we hurry up and try it out? What will happen when we all press the press the button to Strawberry Hall's door? So. No way it'll open. You haven't done anything about the chain. Hey. Hold on. Maybe that little circle area spins around also. So Grape Hall is going to be, is Grape Hall, we go in there, it's going to be Grape Hall door that's going to have the lock on it. The door to Strawberry Hall. Haha, <laughs> Nekomaru's body was blocked up by a chain, remember? If you didn't do anything about that, it doesn't even matter if you fix the button on the outside. <laughs> well, we'll know if we try it out not even worth trying out no we've come all this far we've all come this far if he's saying we should try it out we think we should give it a shot yeah that'd be great take it man no way this door will open not when the other side is chained up With the feeling of resignation i press the button 
Oh. Wait, what? Huh? Hey, hey. W why'd it open? Impossible. Impossible. Where did the chain go? Hold it. Hold on a sec. That's not the only thing that's strange. Nekomaru's body is still, like, over there in front of us. That's right. There's no other way to say this. It definitely looks weird. So, what do you mean? Huh? Hey, hey. Doesn't this look at doesn't this all look the same as when we were in Grape Tower? Yeah, you're right. When we were inside Grape Tower, Michael Marl's body was in front of the far back door. Which means his body should be in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. So if we enter from Strawberry Hall, his body should be right in front of the door as we walk in. Why isn't it like that? Why is Nekobaro's body in front of the door to Grape Hall? Hey, hey. Not just that. The parts I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. The body isn't the only thing that moved. Even the tipped over pillar and spilled oil. They're all moved the exact same way. The car here looks identical to how we saw when we entered from Grape Hall. Everything that was at the crime scene inside Grape Tower shifted to the opposite side. As if it all rotated 180 degrees, right? Can't imagine that the floor actually rotated, but... Is this really what this means? No, it's more than that. I feel there's an every greater mystery here. Mystery so great that it could drastically affect the outcome of the case. We might have to rethink this. We might need to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching this case. The chain disappeared. The strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> it's just as I thought. It was definitely the right choice to confirm this. Just as you thought. And you already knew about this mystery. <sighs> you have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Why don't you try investigating first? See? That door in the far back with the picture of the grape on it. Maybe there's a hidden clue there. There's a clue on that door. Oh, the handle's gone. It's a door with a picture of grapes on it. This should lead to... Wait, huh? Is it two rooms, actually? It could be two different rooms. It could be two different rooms. And what happens? I don't know. Now then. It's the same as that doorknob that was on the floor. See? See, the screws came out with it, right? And the doorknob next to Nekomaru's body came out the great door to Great Paul. Well, that's what it looks like. When you said clue, were you talking about this? What is it a clue to? What? Huh? Did you get even more confused? <laughs> no need to worry, just one clue will change everything. All the mysteries will be solved as if everything were linked together if you can reach it. Just like I did. What does that mean? Even if I ask him that, Nagato probably won't give me an answer. Probably be a waste of time to ask. the truth i'm tired extremely tired i feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already man i know it's bad but i'm so sleepy i just want to ditch <sighs> though i really don't feel like it i'll show you my serious side when you come to the class trial even though it's impossible since it's so annoying you can count on me to take this seriously I think it's gonna start. Another class trial. Hey, hey. But how are we supposed to get to the trial ground? Damn it! You're right. We can't do anything until, unless we get out of this building. Hmm. Um. 
Akane, did something happen? Hey, hey! No, well, do you guys hear something? Hear something. Hey, hey! What do you hear this time? Suddenly, as if cutting off Chiaki, our surroundings started to shake and rumble. And then suddenly, it appeared before us. What? Is he telling us to go inside from here? Seems that's the way. All right, All right I'm gonna go. Just hold on, Nekomaru. I'll make sure I avenge you. Please be a little cautious. It's obviously a trap. I agree. I detect a scent of danger. Even my familiars are saying, not go inside. How interesting. If you can kill me, you're welcome to try. Try stabbing your sword through my very heart. Um. Now then, we should get moving as well. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Uh. It's annoying, but if Miss Sonia's going, then there's no way I'm not gonna go. What? So annoying. Guess it doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. One by one, everyone went to Monaco Rock. Till I was the only one left, and when I was about to take a step forward. What are you saying? Same step ladders, huh? Nagito suddenly standing next to me with his eyes locked on the Monokuma rock. Other than the small movements of his mouth, he was perfectly still. You and I are just step ladders for everyone who holds the title of ultimate. I always believed I didn't mind. Unlike you, I know my place. What are you saying? Man. That's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time. And from that, true hope would be born. I always believed that the talent that survived would be true hope. But it wasn't. There was no hope amidst all this killing. Of course there isn't. What kind of hope comes from killing people? What? Oh, really? Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't real hope? But you're wrong. It's only natural that, it's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. Is that right? After all, that's what it means to live, right? There's no way I'm gonna accept that. Well. Oh well. It's not like that's what I wanted to say to you anyway. Hey. There's there's this one novel I like. It's a particular mystery story. Novel. Um. Story told from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial killer mystery. But when you get to the end, <laughs> surprise, surprise, the girl was actually the killer. Of course, the story was written carefully so the reader doesn't learn the ending in the middle of the story. The protagonist is just a projection of the reader, and the, this projection turns out to be the killer. Which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside you all along. How do you feel about novels like that? What are you talking about? You're just jumping from one topic to another. I can't comment on a book I've never read before. No good at all. Such a normal answer. I should have expected that from a talentless reserved course student like you. <laughs> but... I know that you don't matter at all, so why do I care about you? You admire hope. I love hope. Right? In some ways we're similar, but maybe that difference is what's making me so emotional. Enough already! I don't have time to argue with you, let's go, everyone is waiting! Man. Everyone, huh? So you still believe you're just like everyone else? <laughs> well, sir, of course students are so full of themselves. Nakito's chilling laugh continued as he disappeared in a Monokuma rock. Calm down. That's right. I need to calm down. I took several deep breaths and once my heart had settled, stepped into Monokuma rock. The elevator shook violently as it descended at an ever-increasing speed. When we're in a normal elevator that shakes this bad, it reminds me how inefficient that elevator in the funhouse was. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. The elevator continued to shake and descended deeper and deeper and suddenly it stopped like it always does. And the door opened. Well, I understand your desire to applaud this wonderfully vulgar trial ground, but it's so exhausting to discuss useless things, so let's just get it on with already. So sad, my chest hurt. Forcing everyone to do this is so sad. Hey, 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 
Don't go talking without permission after I until don't go talking without permission after I've said my catchphrase. Otherwise, I'll roll the dice and based on the result, I'll give you a sex change operation that many times. What an extreme punishment. Now then. Let's get it on with once again. Let's get a move on, boys and girls. And so it begins. I hope this would never happen again, but now it's happening for the fourth time. The curtain to the fourth class trial was about to begin. Nakamaru Nidai, the ultimate team manager. He was more passionate, more daring, more honest than anyone I'd ever met. Truly, he was more man than any of us. He sacrificed his body to protect Akane, and his appearance drastic changed drastically because of that. But he still tried to live earnestly. When I finally got used to his new form, Nekomaru's killer is one of us. Killing someone because it's the only way to survive is no excuse. I won't let this be excused. I won't forgive this. The person who betrayed Nekomaru, who betrayed their friends, I will never ever forgive them. And so, his life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. Oh my goodness, bro. I'm, uh, I did this off of a stomach, off an empty stomach, so I'm hungry. Man. Oh. A lot happened in this episode. Holy crap. A lot happened in this episode. Um, I don't really know what to say. Peace out. I love you guys. Tap into the next one. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment, or read them all. Tap into the next one. But, dude, I need to. F I, I can't wait to find out what got Nagito acting the way he's acting. And I can't wait to see what was actually in the final dead room. But I gotta leave now, bro. Peace out. I love you guys!